we evolved to live about 20 years or so after we stopped reproducing. No other animal does that except, except orcas, maybe killer whales. But with the exception of killer whales, humans have this really weird life history. We, lo- we, we, we evolved to be grandparents. But grandparents in the old days weren't, you know, retiring to Florida or I don't know where they do, what they do in England or whatever, go to Mallorca and, you know, kick up their heels and play golf days. Or in, in many cultures still today, are working. They're working in the fields, they're hunting, they're gathering, they're getting food for their children and their grandchildren, they're helping with child care. And that physical activity is, you know, th- that's what their job is to be physically active. But in turn, that physical activity turns on an amazing suite of, 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 of physiological processes that counter aging, it turns on repair and maintenance processes that not only keep our muscles strong, but also keep our DNA from accru- accruing mutations, keep our mitochondria numbers high, keep um, keep our the cells in our brain from accumulating gunk so that prevents Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. I mean, for almost for every system of the body, physical activity has has benefits that slow the aging process. And so when you stop doing it, and that's the way in which you it perce- you perceive it as accelerating aging. But really it's the absence of physical activity which lets aging run amok.